Hi everyone, uh, my name's Henry Dingle and I manage the farm here at Morton Moral College. Uh, I just thought I'd give you an um, introduction to what's going on at the moment with the sheep and how we've got to this point. We're about a week away from lambing now um, and sort of the process of leading up to that. So we put the rams in with the ewes on the 10th of October, it's called tupping. Um, we've got two breeds of sheep we have on the farm here. We've got a, the North Country mules, which have got these sort of brown speckly faces, um, and then Texel cross mules. So each year we put Texel rams on our North Country mules to produce these Texel cross mules, these white faced things. Um, the next sort of process we'd go through is scanning the, the ewes. So we do this in December and we scan them exactly how you scan like a pregnant lady. Um, and the reason we do this is so we know what ewe is going to have what amount of lambs. So currently we've got all the twins in at the moment and we've got the triplets in another shed. Uh, so this year we've got uh, 350 sets of twins, uh, 90 triplets and 66 singles. The idea is all the ewes here have got two teats and it's ideal for them to go out with two lambs. So we'll try and take one of the triplet lambs off and put it onto a single so it goes out with two. The next thing we do is, when, before we bring them into the shed, is we vaccinate them. This vaccination, the immunity passes onto the lambs through the colostrum, which is the first milk the lambs drink out of the ewe. Uh, and we also clip around their back ends. Uh, this is called crutching out. Uh, and the reason we do this is so it's easier to see uh, when the ewe start lambing if anything's going on, and it also helps to keep the ewes clean. So we're currently in the process of setting the lambing shed up. As I said, we've currently got the twins in here, but when we start, we'll bring the singles in. So we have the first two pens of singles, twins the rest of the round, and then triplets in these two pens. Uh, these are sort of the, the yards, we call them. So the user give birth in these yards, and then we'll take them out, and down the middle here, we'll have the individual mothering pens. And we'll bring the ewes and lambs into here for about 24 hours so that the ewe gets used to her lambs before she goes out into the hardening off pens. But we'll talk about this a bit more on the day. Thank you.